Hello. Good to see you there. Just catching up on some light reading. Nicole Jelenic's A Taste for Killing, Issue 6. Hang out here on this beautiful, nice fall day. Check out this interview I did with Nicole at Terrificon 2018. And stay tuned for afterwards because we're going to be reviewing this comic right here. What's going on, everybody? This is Rob Banks from the Red Cup Review, and I'm here with Nicole Jelenic. And yes, I said her name right this time. How's it going, Nicole? <laughs> good. It's going good. Awesome, awesome. And she is the creator of Acid Eye Comics, as you can see from this awesome artwork all around me. And she has a great series called A Taste for Killing. So, for those that didn't catch the last video, just tell them what A Taste for Killing is. A Taste for Killing is basically a self-contained um, monster type of book. Like, every issue is a different monster, so you can just pick up whatever is your favorite, and each one is its own self-contained story. So. And you have how many of them so far? I have six out right now. The newest one that just came out is the Killer Clown issue. Nice. This was I. We are, we will be reviewing this later on in the video. Awesome, awesome work. So, what's your favorite horror movie? Oh, Come I on, fan question. My most favorite horror movie of all time is Hellraiser. I think that's the most perfect horror movie. It's got everything, everything in it you need. It's a gory movie. movie. Oh, and I love gore. Oh. Gore so, so <laughs> it's just the best. It's dark. It's perfect. Good story. The ending is just kind of like it's, it's perfect. It's perfect to me. Nicole's artwork is very reminiscent of Silvestri, right? I know you're a Silvestri oh, fan. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's very right? nice of you to and say. It kind of reminds me of like spin art mixed with horror, mixed with like an it, like like early image work, kind of all thrown into this Definitely. big Definitely, I love image. Bernie Wrightson. I'm a huge fan of Bernie Wrightson. And okay. He's like king of like horror illustration to me. So I learned a lot from him studying this. Nice, yeah. awesome, very, very cool. All right, so what do we have from last year's interview, this year, what changed? Is anything changing in your artwork? Is anything changing in your writing style? Um, is there anything you're working on? Or I don't know about as... writing style, because I'm not the best writer. I just, I just like telling stories. So. That's cool. I wouldn't really call myself a writer. I just so do you I have, have to write a, them down. But... Do you write the story first and then draw, or do you draw and then write the story? I'm a visual person, so I think of what I want the image to look like first, and then I kind of think of what should the story be. That's a very Marvel... And then I plot it out, is it? That was like the, the Marvel way, like the way oh. Stan Lee used to say, okay, we're going to draw the comic out. Jack Kirby yeah. will draw it out, and then I'll add the words and kind of like plot elements. It seems like an artist way to do it. It yeah. just is. Like you, you think of what you want to see image-wise in a book, and, and it kind of flips up sometimes. Sometimes I'll come up with a really cool story, and like I'll have an idea for it first, or you know, I don't know. It just depends. It depends. I kind of just wing it. Oh, that sounds good. She just wings it. All right. So where can they get? Acid Eye Comics, Taste for Killing, and your art as well. You can always get all that stuff at any convention that I'm at. You can always pick it up there. Um, and then you can get it from me online. Just, just you know, hit me up online. You can go to my Facebook and order it or any local comic shop. Okay, what's the Facebook? Nicole Jelenic Art? Yeah, it's just my name. Okay, just type in Nicole Jelenic. We'll be putting you, it down here right now. you can say it right, spell it right. Exactly. No, no, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, I'm pointing here now. You'll see it across the bottom of the screen. Anyways. <laughs> Thanks for the interview. We'll stick around, guys. We're reviewing A Taste for Killing Issue 6. Hey, how's it going? I hope you enjoyed that interview. Here's Issue 6 of A Taste for Killing, the Killer Clown issue. What Nicole does is every year, or every other year sometimes, she compiles kind of like a Tales from the Dark Side, Tales from the Crypt type thing, where she does her own story as the main story, and then gets other writers and artists to come and contribute to her book in the back of the book, sort of like this. Here's a, a good shot. Something like that, right? And then she has the writers write like short stories and stuff like that. Now, as far as Nicole's main story goes, okay, it's a group of kids who get together and they form a pact. And it's kind of reminiscent of the Goonies meets the Monster Squad, and they're kind of abused and, you know, they're trying to find their place in, uh, in their little town. And there's a story around the campfire of Chuckles Knuckles Hook, this killer clown that comes to take children away. And, you know, uh, there's a big twist end. There's a big twist ending, and that's what Nicole's known for is her big twist endings. These books are almost like as you're reading it, they have a certain charm to them. The dialogue uh, is much better, better written. There's more detail. Nicole uh, definitely is above and beyond her last issue, and she's in top form here. But I would say that um, while the dialogue is a little on the uh, uh, 
dated side, it kind of adds to the overall charm of the book as well. You can see this is kind of like an After the Walking Dead, like on AMC, kind of like a half hour or 40 minute little short, where uh, that's like how her, her stories work best. So we're, this time we're gonna give it four cups because it was better, much better than the last issue. The last issue I believe we gave three and a half, so we're giving her four this time. And I wanna thank Nicole for doing the interview, and I wanna tell you guys, if you have comic shops, to go and check out Nicole Jelenic, tell your comic shop owner to get these things in stores because they were well worth it. There's a big, big gap in the comic industry right now. There's no horror comics. You can't get your hand on any horror comics. I haven't seen any. My comic shops don't carry any. So go and request Nicole Jelenic's A Taste for Killing. And the contact information is below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Catch us on Facebook and Instagram. And catch us every Saturday night on the live show at 10 o'clock. This is Rob Banks, and this has been the Red Cup Review.